<gasps> Guess what we're doing for the next nine days, not just today. <laughs> Are you a camping dog? Say guys, I'm a camping dog. <laughs> we went camping for nine days and now we're gonna tell you a little bit and show you a little bit about what we did while we were camping. Are you ready? Are you loving it? Say, I'm loving this so much. All right, let's get into the video. So this was the first camping trip we finally got to take in 2020. And I have a feeling it might end up being the only camping trip we get to take this year, but that's okay. That was why we went for a really long time. In total, we ended up camping for almost nine days with the dogs and we saw a lot of amazing things. We headed to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and our first stop was McLean State Park Campground. Our plan was to stay at this campground for three nights. We drove up very late at night, got all set up, and then the next morning we headed out on some adventure. The dogs got to go to a place that some of you may have seen in our vlogs before. It's called the Delaware Mine. And yes, dogs are actually allowed down in this old abandoned copper mine. There's a really nice family that owns the property. You can go in, you can take your dogs down into the mine with you, and then you can actually walk the property around the mine to see what's left from the village of people that used to live there. And the chipmunks and the squirrels that kept pestering us the entire time we walked around this property. It was pretty cute. The next morning we got up and we headed over to the Porcupine Mountain State Park. This is a beautiful state park in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and we had a lot of things we wanted to see while we were there. The very first place we went to was a place called Lake of the Clouds, which you may have seen in some of our other videos. This was one of the first times we were there in a long time where the sun was actually out. It was beautiful. The dogs had fun climbing on the rocks and walking around checking out the sights. From there, we stopped on another short little hike to visit a place called Nunsuch Mine and Nunsuch Waterfall. I know, funny name, right? This is just a short little hike back in the woods, takes you to an old abandoned mining village. You can't go down in this mine, but you can check out all of the old abandoned buildings and check out the beautiful little waterfall back there. From there, we decided to take a little pit stop and have lunch. I always bring the dogs little food bowls with them so they can enjoy lunch and get their energy levels back up as well. Memphis may or may not have stolen a friend of mine's peanut butter sandwich, but that's neither here nor there. From there, we went and we hiked a few more waterfalls within the state park. One of them is called Unnamed Falls, which is actually my husband's favorite waterfall. There's a little swing bridge that goes over it. We didn't know if Kira was gonna make it across that bridge. And she did. We were very proud of her. So we went there and we went to a couple other of the big waterfalls in the park. And then it was time to head back to the campground so we could get some sleep to get up and do it all again the next day. The next day, we packed up our stuff and we headed to our next state park. We were heading to Baraga State Park, where we pretty much spent a whole day of driving to get there, and then the next day it rained, and then the next day we were able to go out and do a few fun things. We headed to Canyon Falls, which some people actually call the Grand Canyon of Michigan, which has never really made sense to me because it's just a waterfall, but it is a really cool spot to visit. There's a few waterfalls along the trail, and then there's a big waterfall right at the end of it. Apparently there are a lot of people that jump off the cliffs into the water here, but we have never done any of those things. After we visited that waterfall, we continued going on the trail to head to Muskelounge Lake State Park. We took a wrong turn and we drove down a muddy dirt road while hauling the travel trailer and got to our next state park campground really, really late at night, but we made it. In the morning, we headed to Munising, Michigan. There's a whole bunch of waterfalls we wanted to go to there. One of them that we visited was Munising Falls, which is just a short little hike on a nice paved trail to get back to. Another really easy waterfall that we visited back there is Wagner Falls. Again, nice little boardwalk paved hike to get back into this waterfall. We visited another one off the side of the road that I can't remember the name of, which was a little bit more treacherous of a hike. There was kind of like a cliff and I may or may not have chosen to fall with the dogs. Okay, maybe I fell, but regardless, we made it back to that waterfall, beautiful area back there. We also visited Miner's Castle in the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, Munising is a beautiful area to take your dogs. There are a lot of dog-friendly hikes and there are some dog-friendly hotels there, so we love going to this area. We spent an entire day checking out Munising and then, of course, headed back to the campground. 
After that, we pretty much woke up the next day and headed back home. There is a ton of this trip that I did not include in this video. If you guys want to see the entire trip in its entirety, I will put a playlist at the end of this video and down in the video description to our vlog channel at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. If you're not subscribed there, you should totally head over there and subscribe. Watch the entire the entire series of our camping trip if you want to see everything in detail of what we did. And if you want to see more of our camping videos, again, there will be a link at the end of this video. That's it. That's all we have for you guys today. We just wanted to do this little camping recap because we were glad we were finally able to go camping. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience.